Let's go over how to do population math practice number two. So pause the video and take a minute to read through the prompt. And <clears throat> you need your population math formula sheet. Now this is a formula sheet that you can use for your worksheets, but you have to have this memorized for your exam and for the AP test. You don't get a formula sheet for the AP test. There's an island just off of our coast called Anacapa Island where Western gulls breed and raise their young. Here are the stats. It's a half a kilometer wide, 4.6 kilometers long. 15,000 gulls live and breed on Anacapa each year. I've seen all those breeding gulls on Anacapa. Each year, 3,500 chicks are born, 2,300 gulls die. Each year, 125 immigrate in and 140 immigrate off of the island. What's the density of the birds on the island? So it's giving you a hint here that first you have to find the area of the island. So we first need to do area and area is in, um, it's a square. So it's gonna be kilometer squared. So first we're going to multiply length by width so 0.5 kilometers wide and 4.6 kilometers long. Pause the video, use your calculator, and you're gonna get 2.3 kilometers squared. By the way, how should you round in AP Environmental Science? Well, here there's two sig figs per um, given. And so our answer can be rounded to two sig figs. If it's a question, and if you don't remember how many sig figs to round to, a rule of thumb is three. They're not going to mark you off for more sig figs, um, but they're also not going to mark you off for less than three sig figs if your work only, I'm sorry, if your givens only have two sig figs and you write your answer in two sig figs, then that's fine too. That's actually preferable. That's better science. All right, so now what's our density? Our density in our formula sheet is population size over area. So we just found the area is 2.3 kilometers squared. So we're gonna take 15,000 goals divided by 2.3 kilometers squared. And we're gonna get a number here. Now I could round to, to three sig figs. If you do more, that's not a big deal. You can round to the nearest whole goal, whole goal, goals per square kilometer. What you cannot do, however, is you cannot eliminate all these units in your work, in your answer. You must have units on an FRQ in your work, in your answer. Very, very important. All right, what's the birth rate? Well, back to our formula sheet, the birth rate is births over total population. So here's our birds that are born. Here's our total population, 15,000. Now we have goals and goals here. Now they will cancel out. So you're gonna divide that. Um, and you're going to multiply that by 100 to get our percentage. And you can round to three sig figs on this one. So I'm going to let you do that math and round to three sig figs. Death rate, you're going to do the same, but this time you're going to do 2300 over 15,000. And our goals cancel times 100. And you can round to three sig figs on this one. Okay, what's the crude growth rate? So this time, <clears throat> we're going to use the crude growth rate. That crude growth rate means no immigration. So it's this first one here, births minus deaths over total population. The second one for growth rate includes migration. So immigration meaning coming in, immigration mean leaving. So the crude growth rate, we're gonna take um, in our formula, 
births minus deaths over total population. So 2,300 goals minus, oh, I have those mixed up. Let me go this way. It's births first. Okay, so that's how you set up this one. And I'll go ahead and let you do that one. Total annual growth, including migration. So now we have the big long one. And in our big long formula sheet right here, we have births plus immigration. So 3,500 plus um, immigrating in. Our prompt up here says 125, immigrate in. All right, minus our deaths plus emigrating with an E, so plus 140. Over our total population times 100. All right. Do that math. What's the double time? So when you get this answer, you're gonna use it here. 70 over R, and then round to three sig figs. Do you think the goal population will actually double? Probably not. What are the three limiting factors that would contribute to a carrying capacity on Anna Kappa? What are these things what, what would limit the goal population size? It can't just keep growing and growing and doubling. What's gonna make them die? What are they gonna run out of? What might move in to eat them? So these are some things. This is a review of limiting factors. Look it up if you forgot what limiting factors are and write down three that would limit the population size for goals. And that's how you set up and you guys do the work for population math practice too.